Hello and welcome to Poker. Our corporate headquarters and air plant are located at 352 Roosevelt Road, Glen Ellen, Illinois. We would like to thank you for taking time out today to see our film, Modern Electric Motor Repair. For the first step in repairing your electric motor involves using our thumb cutoff machine. After the operator lowers the circulars into the center of the anchored stator, he slowly moves the blade into the windings, cutting completely through them. As he moves the stator on the turntable, the blade cleanly cuts the entire winding head free from the remaining wires. The reason we cut the winding head off is because this houses important rewinding information which is used later in our repair process. This is a simple procedure and depending on the size of the motor requires only minutes to complete. After swinging the saw motor to the side, the operator can now remove the winding head from the stator. As you can see, the important connections are harmed as the head is removed. The winding head has a clean cut and is now set aside and will be used later in our winding process. We now have the stator on a warming table. Note the start time of 8 feet of the screen. The gas flame under the stator never actually comes in contact with the windings, only the heat from the flame is utilized to loosen the varnish on the remaining windings. While the windings are being heated, the stator you now see was mounted on the turntable and the winding head was cut off and removed in under one minute. The fact that we can work on many stators during this cycle is one of the many benefits of our safe and time-saving method. Please note the size difference of the stators you have just seen. With our two machines, we can strip from subfractional to several hundred power stators in no time. This is in comparison to the burnout method, which not only destroys stator, but takes many run through just the stripping cycle alone. After our stator has been through the warming cycle, there will be no other time that the stator will have to be heated. After a few minutes, we check the windings to see how loose they have become and then remount the stator back on the original turntable. You will now see the last portion of our stripping process. Using a hydraulic lift located on top of the machine, we use what we refer to as tongs. These tongs are used to clamp onto the windings and tighten as the hydraulic lift pulls them out safely and quickly. The hydraulic lift is operated by a foot switch which gives the operator free use of his hands. With most stators, some insulation in the slots come out along with the windings. After the windings are pulled out, they can be easily retrieved and recycled as scrap metal. Again, we stress the fact that this method does absolutely no harm to the stator electrically or physically something that no other motor shop in the United States of America can do only our company dry silker electric motors can guarantee this we can also guarantee that no one can strip rewind and trickle any stators faster or safer than us we can and have proven this many times before
As we take a closer look at the stator and laminations, you can see the original paint and varnish from when the motor was first manufactured. Now using standard pliers and a slightly modified knife, the remaining slot insulation is removed from the stator. Please notice the time clock at the bottom of the screen. You will notice that it has taken approximately 30 minutes to completely strip and clean this stator. After some of the excess insulation has been removed, the stator is ready for rewinding. The stator, now in our winding department, is having new slot insulation inserted. Before this, the winder took the data from the original windings and entered it into the computer on our automatic winding machine. You now see that winding machine in the background automatically winding this full set of coils. These machines help decrease our customers downtime by making the rewind process quicker and by improving the overall quality of the rewind. After the winders have finished making the final connections, the stator is then brought to our trickling department. These machines have been in use since 1977. First we mount the stator turntable and adjust the trickling tubes, the heat sensor and connect the motor for 230 or 460 volts. With some minor adjustments the trickle process is ready to start. After a brief warming cycle, utilizing the applied voltage, the motor is moved up at a slight angle. This is done to draw the trickled varnish through the entire windings, and as a result, there is a very high slot fill, leaving very few voids. As you can see, many different size stators can be tricked. We also have hardware for mounting DC armatures as well. After the trickle process is completed, very little cleaning is needed, and the motors are virtually ready to be assembled. With our complete stripping, winding, and trickling process, you can provide your customers with a high-quality repair job in the shortest possible time period. Thank you for watching. Filker Electric Motors. Here you now see is an example of the damage that is caused when you have your motor stripped by motor shops using a burnout oven. You can see how the stator laminations have been warped due to the intense heat of the burnout process. The original owner of this 5,000 horsepower stator had to order a new motor because his stator was too badly damaged due to the burnout process. When you have your motors rewound by dry silk or electric motors, you can be guaranteed that this cannot and never will happen to your stators. Thank you for